Cool. So uh, my name is Sue Min and um, I'm an illustrator. Um, I'm originally from New Zealand, but I've lived in the UK for about 10 years now, I think. Um, started off in London, but um, been in Liverpool for about five or six years now, I think. Um, and yeah, we love it here. Um, my partner and I, well, we're both illustrators um, and we, um, we make our prints and illustrations through um, our business called Fox and Velvet. Um, and we've been doing that for about five years as well. Um, we sell on like Etsy and not on the high street and that sort of thing. So it's been, it's been really nice for us. Like we sort of started it from, from nothing and it's, it's come on quite well and we really enjoy it. Um, we've got two kids. So um, our oldest, Louis, is at nursery at the moment. And uh, this is Beau, who's three and a half weeks old. Um, so, yeah, we're all just sort of still adjusting to being four instead of three. Um, but it's been, it has been really good. Um, yeah, it's funny how fast you go from sort of going, just can't imagine like what it would be like to have another one to like, can't imagine what it would be like without her now. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, do you want to talk about the sling thing that you're that you yeah wearing? yeah um I I absolutely love um well this sling in particular this is the one I use most of the time but um I have like another couple but um with yeah with Bowen with Louis um we actually didn't really use a pram like we had one for like a couple of months um but it was only Mark's mum who would use it um other than that like they've just been been in slings because um yeah, it's just sort of easier to get around and um and to like have them like really close to you is is so nice like when when Louis was a bit older and I put him on my back um it was always really nice because everybody would um even before he was talking he'd sort of like like wave at people and stuff and everyone would sort of talk directly to him and I think he just sort of felt like even though he was a baby sort of like felt like he was like a fully functioning member of society kind of thing but it's just just nice and, and then when he did start talking I'd always like be able to like chat with him as we're going like walking along and stuff like that and just felt like they were always like it feels like they're just much more involved in what you're doing um and yeah and they um she just goes straight to sleep in it as well so that's nice too um warm. but yeah I really <laughs> That it's like a nice wa hot water bottle on you. <laughs> yeah, it is actually. Yeah, it's nice to <laughs> nice at the moment. Um, the year that Louis was born was like super, super, super hot summer. Yeah. Um, so like we'd sort of like come back home and he'd be like stuck to me, but it was still nice. <laughs> um, and do you want to talk about the piece of clothing that you chose as well? The yeah, so I was going to do a different one, but I actually thought, oh, this one's sort of more meaningful. So. Um, this this was actually Louis. Um, this is one of the like one of the first things that we bought for Louis. Um, and then when Bo was born, this was the the first outfit that we put her in. So it's it's sort of like a nice like I don't know like passed down kind of thing. Yeah. Um, all the little cars on it. Um, Louis like really into cars, the movie, and so every red car is like named McQueen, and um, and then all his other cars have names as well. So like when he when he came in on the the morning after she was born um and she was wearing that and he was sort of made up to, he didn't know it was his um as well but he was like just made up to see her wearing it and he was like oh it's lightning mcqueen <laughs> yeah it's just like a nice connection between between them um they have like a really nice connection with each other already like he's really caring towards her um like whenever she cries he always like comes to like give her a cuddle or like bring something that he thinks might help because you just you just don't really know what to expect <laughs> to go from like one to two and you know how what it's going to be like and but you know overall I think it's you know they're, yeah. I, think I love each other so oh, amazing and um can you tell me a little bit about what it's like having had a baby during lockdown how does yeah. that refer to when you had Louis for example yeah I mean it, it's um I think like because it because it was our second I, I I don't know how I would have felt about it if I'd never had a baby before um but you don't have as many appointments with the second baby and we the duck missed the first scan he couldn't go to that but by the time he came to our second scan partners were allowed to come um so it wasn't it wasn't too different for us um and we also um we wanted to have a home birth as well. So we had home visits from the midwife. So it wasn't like, um, 
you know, I, I know a lot of mums had to have like like visits over the phone and stuff like that. And it's just not quite the same, whereas it was, that was a bit different for us. So um, yeah, I think the only thing is like, where you, you do want to be around your friends and you do want to, you know, just especially like with an older one already, like, um, mm. yeah, not being able to go out and not being able to see our friends and like, especially in the early months when I had like bad morning sickness and stuff like that. And there's nothing to do and no, not nothing to do. You know, you've got stuff to yeah. do at home, but you can't go anywhere and you can't, um, yeah, you can't see anyone. That, that, that was probably the hardest part mm. for me. Um, I also struggle a bit with anxiety, um, particularly in pregnancy. And so um, having that and not being able to, you know, you can, you can speak to people, you can message people, you can do it, but it's just not the same mm. as being, you know, there with someone else as well so I think we definitely miss like the the yeah just like the, the human the connection book. yeah 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 I know that that sounds really hard because obviously everyone's I think a lot of people are struggling yeah with with just generally anxiety and mental health during the pandemic yeah, yeah. so to have I think it cool. makes that even even harder yeah, yeah. Well, pregnancy is sort of like quite an anxious time as well and then like obviously with COVID like I personally didn't have like it wasn't specifically related to COVID, but like, because all the messaging that's sort of around is just like, rather than like, everything will be fine. You know, it's like, like the alert thing, you know, um, and you're, you're sort of hyper aware of everything that you're doing. And it's sort of like, yeah. just feeds into that as well, even though it's, even though the anxiety wasn't related to that, if that makes yeah. sense. I also got like some like good support from Talk Liverpool as well, who were really good. Um, so like going through CBT, um, to was really helpful so you know there's that as well it sort of pushes you to actually seek help for it as well um but yeah the the once she once she was born or even as we were like getting close to her her due date it did like ease off a lot yeah great um and then just finally uh, I was going to ask if you feel like there's a sense of community in your neighborhood or if you feel like you've been in um if you felt a sense of community um since moving to Liverpool at all definitely I mean Liverpool I feel like Liverpool is just a really special city I mean I, I've only lived in London and in Liverpool and I, I loved it in London um but in London like you know my community was well particularly my work friends and um that sort of thing and then we didn't really get to know our neighbours and, and that sort of thing. Whereas in, in Liverpool, like even particularly around here, you know, as you know, with like Adam's Apple and all the shops down there, um, we really, really feel like, you know, we feel like we know people and we, um, you know, everyone, everyone knows Louis around here. It was just nice, you know, um, and our street is a, a really um, friendly street as well. So just sort of like when we do get out and about, you know, um, everybody was sort of waiting for her to be born and, you know, really happy to see her. And for me, because I live so far away from home as well, um, it's just nice to have like people around who, you know, are genuinely like really happy for you and like looking out for you. And, and we have, you know, especially since we moved around here, um, we really have felt like this is like a, a proper community here. And I think the shops um, on Allerton Road are a massive part of that. Like it just wouldn't, well, it just, it just wouldn't be like that without them. I think they're so, so valuable to this, to this area. We like absolutely love them. It's the, the best part of it, I think. So oh, like everybody, everybody around here does seem like they're like looking out for each other. Mm. Um, everyone's like making sure everyone's okay. And yeah, yeah, I feel that as well, obviously living kind of in the air as well. Um, and working at the fruit and veg shop. I, I feel like there's definitely that sense of community and it's yeah. nice to like, yeah, know your neighbours and know, yeah, the people that work in the shop and just having that yeah. interaction is is really nice. Yeah. yeah.